www.utfdirect.com. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? It's Hans from the Eclectic Podcast, and today we're going to be taking a look at the MP21G Bumble. This is the G2 version of Bumblebee. Um, Just came out. I picked it up at the fine folks over at tf-direct.com. As always, you can get yours from them. Use the offer code TEP5 to save yourself $5 off your orders of $55 or more. Uh, Let's take a look at the box real quick. Typical Masterpiece Fair, top of the box, just the logo um, on the side of the box, we have him in his alt mode. On the other side, we have him in his robot mode. And then at the bottom of the box, of course, we do have the awesome sticker, the Volkswagen officially licensed sticker. As you can see, it's shiny goodness down there. Um, and of course, still a bunch of stuff that I can't read. On the back, we see... All the different accessories he comes with. Of course, he comes with this pistol, spare tire. We got two different faces on this one, um, along with the battle mask that he has. Uh, he does have a rocket pack. Uh, you have your choice between uh, either having a G1 or a G2 um, stickers that you can place on him. Um, I do kind of wish they were the tampo printed, but they're not. Here he is in his clamshell. I'll just kind of give you a quick look at everything that he comes with in there. Um, and, you know... Typical Masterpiece style stuff with the packaging. Of course, here's his side mirrors with his uh, spec card. And that spec card is actually really cool. kind of reminds me of Exhaust with that alt artwork. And there's his tech specs on the back. Here's the instructions. And it comes with a variety of stickers. Like I said, it's not tempo printed on him this time like it was with the original release of this mold. Um, But it does come with some extra stickers too, which is kind of nice. And, I mean, I'm not going to open these up. I've, I've shown these in the other review. Pretty much they're the same thing. So, let's go ahead and let's get him out of the shell. Here he is out of the shell, and here's these face molds. And it's kind of funny because they're not they're not very different from one another. As you can see, this one here looks. I mean, it looks good. Don't get me wrong. It looks really, really nice. Um, nicely painted. Here's the other face. Just a slight, slight difference. Nothing major. Um, if you see them side by side, that's where you can actually kind of tell the difference. Uh, the one on the left looks like it has a little bit larger eyes, and the one on the right has an open mouth and slightly smaller eyes. So, yeah, there's that. Not a huge, huge difference between the two faces, but something extra nonetheless. Here's the blaster. Of course, it's not the blue like we had before with the original release of this mold. Um, it's just straight black. Looks good. And, of course, the spare tire. I like the spare tire. Some people don't. I do. Uh, and then it comes with a rocket pack, which actually was kind of cool because it didn't come with a, a spike in this one, but it did come with a rocket pack, which I thought was kind of a nice touch. I kind of prefer it. Um, looking at the figure itself, the paint job, uh, it's like a spicy brown mustard. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, it the, the toning on it looks really cool because it gives you some nice depth, but I'm just overall... Yeah. He does still have the same features um, for storage that he had in the, the, the previous version, obviously, since it is the same old. But you can go ahead and you can take him. You can plug the gun in underneath. Just slap it right in there. Holds it fine. Uh, you can also mount the spout t- spare tire in there. <laughs> Plugs in great. Keeps everything contained in. No worries. Uh, my personal uh, preference for this is actually just take that plate that comes off the back of him. Uh, just remove that and just plug it into that spare tire and then just slap that on the back Uh, to me I think it looks better that way gives a little bit more I don't know depth in the back but yeah to each their own some people don't like the spare tire I like it but we'll go ahead we'll uh, take a comparison look between the two the first mold um, of this figure and this one and to be honest looking at these side by side I do really prefer that one I mean, that original release of him just it captures Bumblebee. The gold on this one, like I said, the depth is kind of cool with the way it was painted, but it doesn't do it for me. Just not not that impressed. But to each their own. If you like G2, go for the G2. Here's Here he is in his bot mode. I wasn't going to go through transformation because I did already do this with Bumble. Uh, if you want to, you can see that one. But I do really like this mask. 
Um, the Battle Mask, I didn't have it with the original release. Uh, so this one, I was really, you know, I kind of like having it this way. Um, of course, like I said, it, I wish they would have gone on ahead and tempo printed uh, the GT logo on the flip in the chest. They didn't, and since you have to apply your own stickers, and I'm not applying stickers, I'm horrible at applying stickers, um, I'm not going to do it. But, um, I'll show you the Rocket Pack real quick. This was kind of um, kind of interesting, and the arms are really tight on this guy, just so you know, when I got him out of the box. Uh, the Rocket Pack does come in three pieces. So you got your backpack that goes right where that plate went on the back, and then on the sides there, because of the way that it has to mount, you've got to slide them in one by one. You can't just slide it all in together. And then just go ahead and give them a nice little peg. They will hold on to themselves really well, and once it is on there, I mean, it is pretty solid, and it is in place. Um, and if you look here actually on the side, the reason why you have to actually put it in on separate pieces is because the bumper has got to clear that little notch in the back of the backpack there. And the only way you can do that is to put that on and then slide the backpack over the front or over the back of the, the pole right there. Kind of awkward and funky, but it gets the job done. <sighs> all in all, um, if you look at them side by side, I like I like the original release of this mold. Um, it captured, I think, the look and the feel of Bumblebee. Um, and I like the tempo printed Autobot logo right there. Now, considering I was never a big G2 fan, I don't even really know quite what G2 is um, because I'm not very familiar with it. I know it's got funky colors, but I don't know. This, this one, not necessarily worth the purchase. You can put the Rocket Pack on Bumblebee. Um, if you have them both, you can work them on both. They also, there was a third party release that just came out. I think um, Ben's Collectibles actually just did a review on it that shows the third party Rocket Pack. Looks great. Fits them. So, if that's something that you want without having to go and spend the extra money just to get a, you know, a G2 Bumblebee, you can do that. Um, and if you're not crazy about this G2 mold, don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not... There was nothing about it that was like a must-buy. There was no improvements... The paint job, because it wasn't, because it wasn't the crazy gold that I was expecting it to be, kind of like what I had seen with the side swipe where they did the gin version of the KO. Um, I was kind of expecting that kind of gold. This just looks kind of a spicy brown mustard. Um, it does, I mean, it does have some nice shine to it in some areas, and like I said, the way that they've done the paint job, it does add depth to it, which is a nice plus. Um, so I, I, you know, I thought that was kind of cool, but. G2, the, the colors that they've always used in G2 were always just funky. I mean, that's where you got some crazy looking Transformers that came out. Um, so, I, it's, I'm hard pressed to say bye. But if you look right here, it still has some great molded detail. And it still has some great paint on it. Awesome applications. I can't deny that. Just not as vibrant and as blinging as I was hoping it would be. So, Again, you know, if if you've already got it, it's not something you have to get. If you've already got the original version, um, this repaint is just repaint, and it's nothing more. Doesn't really add much to it. So, buy at your own risk. Um, not something I was particularly crazy about. I, I will keep it because I like this battle mask, um, and I, I the paint does look okay. Just it's spicy brown mustard. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any other questions, post them in the comments down below. Peace. Letters.